So that's what I wanna to try today, giving myself an allotted amount of time, then figuring out how to streamline things and make it go faster and more efficient so I have that chunk of time to actually work on improvements. Hey friends, Tom Wiley here. Uh, first, I wanna say thank you so much to everybody who has shown support and, and said you're thinking and praying for us. Thank you so much. Um, as after the, the most recent video I posted uh, talking about our sickness and Sarah's food allergies and the just stuff we've got going on, praise God we're doing, uh, the majority of the family is doing a lot better. I'm feeling almost 100%. Um, Sarah's still, her back is hurting, so we're going hopefully to a chiropractor this week and we're working on her food stuff. We're in a better situation with that though. We just weren't, completely weren't prepared for it when it happened. So we were just scrounging and it was tough. So we're better on that now. Still a long road ahead as far as her health goes, but, but we're encouraged. And thank you all so much for praying for us. I can't tell you what it, how much it means to me to be able to put something out and have so many people responding back saying, hey, we're praying for you and encouraging us that we'll get through it and, and just to keep, keep at it. Um, that really encouraged my heart. So thank you so much. Um, today, <clears throat> I want to try something that I saw in Justin Rhodes's two most recent videos. This firewood rack didn't happen overnight. Nor did this amazing people barn set up. Or the landscaping out front. And you know, the shed didn't just appear. Or the meat shaw and its modifications. These raised beds took several days. There's rocks just keeping in the garden there. The little locust posts keeping in the yard there. The locust posts keeping in the herb garden there. Didn't just happen. How to deal with overwhelm. Hey, that's applicable to us. <laughs> and the one of the tips was set a time limit, a def definite time limit on your daily chores so that if you accomplish your chores in under that amount of time, you have that many minutes left to do something else, some kind of a project or an improvement somewhere. That chunk of time in which to make your 1% improvement every day to gradually improve your situation. Today, I'm gonna to start with timing how long it takes to do the basic chore set. It's kind of weird because the chickens are not where they normally are. They're in a horse trailer instead of in a chicken tractor because of the snow that we had recently that is now melting off, but it's just different. So I'm gonna just sort of roughly, sort of a ballpark, you know, baseline time chunk and to which I can add some fudge factor um, so that I can give myself that little bit of time every day to work on something because there's a lot of things out here that just keep languishing in a state of not being done and very much needing done but I, I, I haven't been giving time to it I haven't been I th I have been in the mindset of I don't have time the reality is I have time I just need to get creative with where to find it okay well I just finished chores it took just about 30 minutes to do the chores now this was a super inaccurate timing um because i was moving the chickens today so this included a bunch of the time moving the chickens over into the chicken tractor from the horse trailer plus getting all their supplies moved over and then a little bit of like cleaning up the trailer sort of that's just what i had to do today so it's a very rough time i didn't time a couple other of the little things and i also subtracted all the the time that i was moving the camera around and messing with any filming stuff or standing there explaining something it is what it is, a half hour on average. I think I'm gonna give myself 45 minutes in the morning to do the animal chores. Um, I should be able to for sure get it done in 45 minutes. It's with the goal of being able to knock out the chores in 30 minutes or less, and then always have like 15 minutes-ish to chip away at some project or improvement. And we'll see how it goes. So that's it for today. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. Future videos, I'm gonna be trying to, to help bring people into, this is the overall picture of what's going on with our family, with our homestead, with our businesses. This is us, the Wiley family in Southern Missouri, used to be Northern Idaho, and come along with us for the ride. Um, 
one of my biggest goals is sharing what we learn along the way, what we've learned in the past, what we're learning now every day. I want to share that. And people respond really well to my style of instruction and teaching. Um, I'm making plans and instructional materials for building the stuff that, that I've built. Our chicken tractors and log splitter and uh, the bunion jack and just all the, the different innovations I've made and improvements I've made to other people's designs. I'm in the process of sharing that with you. It's gonna be take a while to get it all out there, but it's coming. Stay tuned. If that, any of that sounds helpful to you um, or inspiring, I'll see you in the next video. Keep us keep praying for us. We're praying for you, and we'll see you then on the next one.